Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make an autumn spiral. Start by smoothing out as many wrinkles as you can, and then decide where you want the center of your spiral to be, and give it a little pinch. And then using a hemostat and the microwave splatter guard, I'm going to create the spiral. So you want to click the hemostat down on the first click. It does not need to be overly tight. And then give it two, three, four twists. That's it. With the opposite hand, you're going to create the pleats and create the spiral. So if you watch, I pull the t-shirt out and around and I go as far as I can using the microwave splatter guard until I can't go any farther. I hold down the center of the spiral unclick the hemostat and gently wiggle it out. I like to secure my spirals by using rubber bands. I just find them to be quick and easy. You could also use kite string. You could even use sinew if you wanted to create white lines on it. It really is just a matter of preference. And these are my favorite rubber bands in the color purple. And I do have a link down below in the description box for them, along with everything else that I use for tie dye. So go ahead and check that out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm tightening up the spiral. So I'm pulling on all of the loose tails, working on the pleats, and I'm tucking them into the nearest rubber band. And I will go around and around doing this until when I pull on them, they just don't do anything. Then I know I have a nice tight spiral, so that way if I need to pick it up or flip it, move it around, it's not going to fall apart on me. Now it's time to create some type of an ice barrier, and these are silicone cake molds. And yes, there are links down below in the description box. If you don't have the cake molds, you could use cardboard, you could even use tin foil. I just like these silicone cake molds because I can wash them off and reuse them. Using a washable marker, I mark out my pattern, and this is the Crazy Art brand, and I get them at Walmart. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to add the die. And I'm adding the die in the usual pieces of the pie. And when you get down to the center of the spiral, just make sure that you don't overdo it and add all of the colors down in there. Otherwise you run the risk of creating a muddy mess. You just wanna take the color down to the center and then maybe choose your favorite color and make that the predominant color in the center. So all of these dies on this shirt are the special order dies from Dharma, which you have to order in five pound quantity, which is just way too much dye. I don't wanna do that. So I get my dye over at Facebook, Tie Dye Supplies Marketplace, and I do have a link for it down below in the description box. There are a lot of people over there that are selling smaller quantities of dye, like two ounces, four ounces, I just think five pounds is way too much dye. I would never use all that. Rust Orange and Bracken are the zombie colors. If you're curious to know what they're going to look like if you haven't received yours yet, uh, stay tuned to the end at the reveal and you can get an idea of what your colors are going to look like. They're really pretty colors. So today is October 18th, 2022, and until October 31st, 
2022, if you go over to boredomwithjen.com and type in the coupon code BELLADONNA, you can get 10% off a sinew puller and matching caddy and other items that you would like to order. So it's just for a limited time. So if you've been thinking about getting yourself a sinew puller and matching caddy, I highly recommend that you take the opportunity to get that 10% off. Next, I give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. I'm going to be adding quite a bit of ice to it, so I want to make sure that the pH stays up around 10.5 to 11. And I like to add enough ice to where it basically just fills up the cake molds. No more fabric is showing through. And then it's recommended that you set the project aside and let it batch at 70 degrees or higher for at least 24 hours and I let this project batch for the full 48 hours. Now it's time for the rinse out. You wanna start by using cold water. That's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I like to do hot water cycles using Kirilon. Kirilon is a professional textile detergent. And then I like to do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft. And Millsoft is a professional fabric softener. And yes, you can find the links down below in the description box. It just makes it easy for you to find. And then I put it in the dryer and I'll iron it and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our autumn spiral ice dye after it's been washed and dried. And I think the shirt turned out beautiful. It's perfect for this time of year. It's really rich. It's like the leaves on the tree changing. It just, it screams fall to me. So bracken and rust orange are the zombie colors. And if you haven't received your dyes yet and you're curious, this is what you're going to get. Really beautiful colors. Uh, the rust orange splits down into some nice reds and some yellows and then the bracken kind of has like browns and light greens in it it's it's really pretty now the purple is the plum port and then the maroon is the ron burgundy and i haven't used ron burgundy before and it's also very pretty like all of these colors together work really well like I said, especially for this time of year. So overall, I'm very pleased with the way the shirt turned out. What do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing!